Hi, I'm Dr. Pixie McKenna, and I'm going to walk you through some common sleep problems. Without a doubt, one of the most common sleep problems is insomnia, and most of us will have experienced it at some point in our lives. Unfortunately, for about 10% of the population, insomnia is a long-term problem. And there are many things that you can do to get yourself a good night's sleep. Most importantly is routine. Trying to set yourself a good bedtime routine, going to bed at the same time and getting up at the same time each morning. And eliminating any artificial light in the bedroom. So no smartphones, no TVs. That is all very, very essential to help you to ease off into sleep. Sleep apnea is an increasingly common sleep problem in the UK and it occurs because the muscles at the back of the throat relax and they actually impair breathing. So patients will describe snoring with some patients stopping breathing for as much as 10 seconds every one or two minutes overnight and it can have serious long-term health consequences. So if you have any symptoms that are suggestive of sleep apnea, it's really important to have a checkup from your GP. Shift work can cause major sleep disturbance. Slip into a pattern and try and do that pattern for six or seven nights. When you are sleeping during the day, again, the blackout blinds and the earplugs are essential. And if you're sharing a house with friends or family, let them know you're gonna be in bed during the day because they can be quieter and make it a much more sleep inducing environment for you. Jet lag is another problem and it affects not just your sleep, but every single bodily function, from your mood, to your concentration, to your gut. If it's nighttime when you get on the airplane, ensure that you sleep. If it's daytime, stay awake. As soon as you touch down, adopt that time zone and try not to go to bed until it's dark.